It's not safe to be sexy. It's not safe to be naked. It's not safe to be flirtatious. It's not safe to be femininely wild and free. This is what people keep telling me. Be safe. Be wild. Be flirtatious. Be yourself, but be safe. So I want to like just talk a little bit about that story of being safe. I think, this is my opinion, that being safe constantly puts you in a program that you are looking for danger right so it's a program it's like be safe there's danger out there now being in my true feminine energy being innocently beautiful and sexy and wild and free can get me into trouble Yes, it can, because there's a lot of prey, praying energies out there, yeah? Okay, so now I'm going to, like, hide it. I'm going to make myself less sexy, less seductive, less gorgeous. <laughs> because why? Why? Okay, so I have this theory now that a flower never asks... A flower... You never tell a flower, hey, be safe, before you're beautiful. A flower is just beautiful, like a flower is just sexy. So, I am going to just be sexy. <laughs> and don't tell me to be safe. I don't want to know about being safe. Because as in my being, I'm safe. I'm being myself, and I'm safe, and I'm beautiful, and I'm sexy. So I'm going to embrace my seductive, tempting, temptress, teasing, gorgeous, sexy self. <laughs> and that's going to push a lot of buttons and I'm going to hear a lot of triggers. But I choose to be me. And I'm playful by nature. So... Comment below what you think about my bold statement that mm, a flower never asks to be safe, but it's still beautiful and sexy. And I think that we should act like flowers. <laughs>